Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's August 3rd, 2023. We continue our national recap with a throwback Thursday rip of some junk era packs I picked up at the show. We got packs from 1991 to 1997, and we're going to rip them in chronological order with two caveats. One, I don't know the year on this little pack, so we're going to start with this one. Also, I accidentally got a football pack. I don't rip football, so if you want this pack, tell me in the comments, and I will send it to somebody. In the dugout today, we have Ronald Acuna and Willie McCovey in two cards picked up at the Natty. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a close look at those two gents, talk about why they're in the dugout today, as well as some hopeful junk era highlights. Captain, are you ready? Number two, Lego Jeter. Number two, the captain. He scored for us yesterday on uh, the basically the Jeremy Pena baller blue foil parallel, which was great. Uh, and so let's hope he can keep it going. It's been a little while since we had a Throwback Thursday episode. I did put uh, a little full disclosure... One, I actually got two of these. These are those 3D packs kind of thing. I put one of those in Pick-A-Pack. It was a big debate on whether or not I was going to put them all in Pick-A-Pack, but Pick-A-Pack's pretty full. And I thought, you know, we basically get a full week of a Natty recap episode, so it should be a good time. Now, this came with gum. Oh, look at the color on that. I don't know if the... <laughs> I think the camera is not really doing it justice as to the kind of yellow, nasty color that's coming out of that. Yikes. All right, so I remember the back of this. All right, so these are 88. Uh, sweet, so we're still in chronological order. But I don't remember this design. I've ripped other mini packs of tops that had a very similar back design. Nice, Andy Van Slyke. Kirk Gibson, Big Mac. That's basically like a second year McGuire card right there. Mike Witt and Daryl Strawberry. Basically all All Stars. The backs are really cool. Very colorful. Some fun stuff right there. Let's see. I think maybe we can put like Daryl, cover up the Fanatic sticker. Okay, now we're getting into it. So. We had Fred McGriff, I mentioned it, and we talked a little bit about Leaf Studio and how fun of a product that was, uh, that they should bring it back. Uh, I'm not sure, I guess Panini, who owns Leaf? If you know, ooh, look at that, uh, let me know, but um, they should bring back Studio, because it was such a cool, all right, you're going to be tough on it, huh? Such a cool set, I don't remember which one 91 was, we're going to find out, maybe that was the Fred McGriff, yeah, the same one, same set as the Fred McGriff. We got the Rod Carew puzzle. Hall of Famer, Rod Carew. Paul O'Neill back when he was still with the Reds. But see, look at these. These are great. Like high school yearbook photos. Young Edgar Martinez rocking the, uh, basically the rooster top gun stash right there. That's that's what I, when it's thin like that, but, you know, not really full. I call that, that's the mustache. if you ever watched Raleigh and DeGoose. Ooh, more Kirk Gibson. Ben McDonald. Checklist. And Robin Yount. Now that is a mustache. Big ups to Yount. With the true stash right there. All right, Jeter's still sitting at first. Very different kind of thing opening junk wax. But there are hits. Ooh, Pinnacle. Remember Pinnacle? Oh, this isn't even the really great Pinnacle with the when they had foil stamping. Got a little brick action going on. Nice Jim Abbott. Ben Rivera. Oh, look at that. I remember the idols. Scott Hatterberg. Little Moneyball player right there. Chris Pratt played him in Moneyball. If you recall that, he couldn't uh, throw anymore and made him first baseman. Ooh, I don't know if I remember this one. I was going to say Don Mattingly and Rod Carew. That gets Jeter to first. That is, that's a fun one right there. I don't want to cover up Sparkle Don. I love Sparkle Don. John Wetland did a little time, I believe. Scott Rowe. 
More Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson was on the Pirates? I have no memory of Kirk Gibson playing for the Buckos. Wow. That's a deep cut right there. Thought those were pricked. Jose de Leon. All right. Pudge Fisk. Ran big unit. The big cat. And Larry Anderson, who I met once as a kid when he was on a rehab assignment in Vegas. He's a pretty solid journeyman pitcher. Been around a long time. Was a pitching coach. All right. Fleer Ultra. This was when we were getting into the foil stamping. Really beautiful product. Bricked. Oh, my. Oh, that sounds like my back. Beautiful Tommy right there, though. Make sure we got our, our focus tight. Really like that Tommy. And look at this. Look at how great a job they did back in the day. Triptych. Oh, even back here, it's like foil stamp number and name. That's pretty cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All right, Juan Bell. Dave Martinez, manager now. Knoblock. Before he got the yips. EY. Gerald Clark, former Las Vegas star. Rocket. I mean, these are some nice cards. These images, too, are like borderline stadium club. Xavier Hernandez. Oh, Mike Piazza. Tori Lavolo. Is this like a probably second, third year? Nice one, though. We got here Bob Natal. Getting through these cards is nothing at Natal. Bob Welch. Oh, the kid. And, oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, bad corners. So we got Buner and Griffey. That's a this was a good pack. Oh, but that's like that's okay. This is a sweet binder card right here. That is really, really sharp. I don't think I ripped this. I think I basically had stopped collecting by this point. 1994. I was in high school doing other stuff. But man, that's really cool. I'm gonna cover up Daryl and Aaron Judge right there. That was a pretty sweet pack. I think that gets Jeter to second. Absolutely. Probably third, but we got stuff in the way. More bricked action. All right, some tops. I grabbed this because it tops gold card in every pack. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm used to some being bricked, but boy, we're getting like a whole run of bricked cards right here. Greg Norton, never heard of him. Norton, never heard of you. Blackjack, more Big Cat. Oh, come on. Dwayne Ward, we've talked about Dwayne Ward a little bit on the show. Let's flip it around here. Coming attractions, Brian Johnson and Scott Sanders. Nope, they didn't do much. Bob Wegman. Matt Williams, hope he is doing well coming off of uh, cancer. But a great, great ball player in his time. Currently coaching with the uh, Padres right now. Tom Bagnazzi, Henry Rodriguez. That's our little, oh, and our gold is Eric Davis. Interesting. I again, no recollection of these particular tops gold cards. All right, getting into some score here. We got a little hoops right in the middle. Obviously, I think you know these are going to be the highlights. 3D upper deck, 97 tops. Score was cheap, is still cheap. Oh man, I can <laughs> not even gonna be able to get through these. All right, just ruining every card. Let's hope there's nothing too exciting in here. 
Anthony Castilla, Hall of Famer Lee Smith. Whew. Boy, I'm glad that wasn't like a really, really amazing card. <laughs> Fernando played for the Orioles? Again, no memory of that. I remember on the Angels. Not on the Orioles, though. Rich Amaral. Why are these cards stuck together? Uh, I'd prefer not to answer that. Karos. R.I.P. Darren Dalton. Oh, beauty at Wrigley. Not really in focus, though. Believe me, that's not the camera. That must be a serious telephoto lens. All right, Jeets. Let's see if we can get you around the bases. Do we hope we didn't waste all of our good fortune on uh, those first couple packs there. Sharon Wright. Ricky Pierce. Dennis Rodman. Oh, we got here Chris Weber. Oh, no. I saw the C and I thought it was Chris Weber. It's not. It's Clifford Rozier. Dale Davis. All right. Clipper PC. Loivot. No memory of Loivot. Before I was a true Clipper fan. All right. Daniel Marshall. He's a pretty good player in his time. He, you know. There's C. Webb. Spurs with the boot. This is from after C. Webb got shipped over. Oh, wait, that's right. So he went, he was drafted by the Warriors and then went to the, the, the Bullets. No, yeah, no, yeah. Golden State one Was he only with Golden State for one year before he went to the Bullets? Wow. I don't really remember that. I thought he played for Golden State for maybe like a couple of years. So that was Series 1. Oh, no, that was Series 2. This is Series 1, same year. Tyrone Corbin, Rex Walters, <laughs> Latrell, man. I was a big Latrell Sprewell fan when he was with the Warriors. Uh, and when he was with the Knicks, obviously famous for choking the coach. Luke Longley. I guess it would be too much to ask to pull an MJ. We've actually had some good luck pulling MJ in the past, so that's okay. All right, I'm very excited about this. No idea what these are going to look like. Dimension 3. Oh, wow. They're like an even better looking sport flicks. Not really much three dimension, though. I mean, depth, but not in motion. So, pretty cool wizard, though. Bip! Oh, that is scoring Jeter. Because it's the Bipster. We love the Bipster around here. Oh, and the Big Hurt, too! fire oh yeah look at that that is awesome that gets jeter again he's like i score and i run again easy double easy double that is so cool how do we not see these at card shows i don't see these in like the bargain bin wouldn't you snap this up if you saw this in a bargain bin 100 percent would get that you know what i forgot to do a coup a coup my bad I always forget to rub the coin. Denny Martinez and Tim Wallach. Well, two Hall of Famers and the Bipster? That was great. That was a sweet pack. Oh, man. Let's see, I'm going to cover up a coup a coup. All right, so Jeter did score. I love that. Wow. I'm glad I have one more pack and pick a pack. If I see more of those, I might get them. All right, two free cards in every pack. Oh, I, I kind of remember this set. I think I might have picked up a pack or two back in the day. $1.99, that's what was getting me. Also, last pack here, a hobby pack. I don't know if that means anything from back then, but right, Troy Percival. Really nice design. I like the the oval with the name in it. The Kingfish. Tim Sam looks like Donnie Baseball trying to pick him off. Benito. The great Benito Santiago. 
Very cool. So this, oh wow, Hideo Nomo. Lavero had that great Jeter card that uh, I think a few people sent me. I picked up, it's, it's a beautiful card, one of my favorites. Young Derek Jeter. Look at that overhead though. Hideo Nomo, man, he really had his uh, his time too. They got a no hitter, didn't he? Buck. I don't know if Buck's gonna be back with the Mets. Uh, they have really had a tough go, but I can't really blame Buck. More Griffey. Best of a generation. I'm just checking the the quality on that. Ooh, more Piazza too. Sweet. A lot of Piazza. And Jason Kendall, who, if I recall, I think he was from Las Vegas. Something like that. He had a Vegas tie. That was another pretty solid pack. I think those, you know, the Griffey, the Piazza, those get uh, Jeets over to third again. This thing, I feel like this is maybe... Like an insert of some kind. I mean, obviously, best of a generation, but I'm wondering like what the rarity is, what I guess I should have said. Cool double imagery, too. All right. Jeet's sitting on third. Let's get some last pack mojo. All right. A little tough. A little tough. There we go. Hobby pack action. Edgar Martinez. Ooh. Yikes. Carlos Garcia, Mike Bordick. Wow, these are, oh my, oh, rough, rough. That's the, the risk you take. That's one of those things of like, if you bought a box of like upper deck uh, SP hunting for the Jeter, they're gonna be bricked. I did see a box of that at the National. We got here Matt Holleran, Gil Mesh, Bruce Ruffin, Todd Hollinsworth, Rookie Cup. He had a good run there. Jose Herrera, Top Prospects, Mike Cameron, Rula Banez, Jeff Jenkins. And the last card, Edgar Martinez. So Jeter doesn't score a second time. Uh, debatable. I mean, we, he probably could have if we really wanted to break it down like that. But I think overall, really fun junk wax rippage right there. I am pleased. Some of these I have never seen before. I have never had in my collection. And they are going straight into some of the uh, player binders. Really, really awesome stuff. Uh, all right, let's send it down onto the field. Take a look at the dudes in the dugout and a couple highlights. In the dugout today, we have Ronald Acuna Matata and Willie McCovey. Acuna, because he hit his 25th homer last night, he has 51 stolen bases, and he is hitting 335. I swear, I would kill if just one Yankee could hit over 300. Uh... He is arguably going to be the MVP, although he may be competing with his own teammates because Matt Olson is having a heck of a season. He seems to hit home runs on the daily. Uh, uh, Austin Riley having another great season, really coming on lately especially. Uh, the Braves just look really, really good, uh, as much as I hate to say it. Not a big Braves guy, but wow, they are stacked, uh, and so... Uh, I was very pleased to snag this Acuna number two out of the top 100 from 2018 Bowman for free off the table. Uh, I, my question to you at home, leave it in the comments if you think, what do you think that is? I grabbed it for free. I'd say, what, like a $5 card maybe? Possibly, you know, okay, $2 on the low end. Uh, but those were tough pulls in to, you know, to get like the really high prospects. Uh, so that's a pretty sweet one to get. And then we got Willie McCovey, because on this day in 1986, he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Nice 1970 tops pickup right there at the National for Fab Sub Paul Ray, who, uh, if you didn't hear before, he sent me a package that arrived when I got back from the National, and he has sent to me that he's also going to send something for the old birthday uh, in September. So, uh, very much appreciate that, Paul. Obviously, some Giants cards headed your way, like this McCovey card. Uh, so, there you go. Two 
Big time studs in the dugout today. All right, let's slide it over and look at a couple highlights. We close out today's Throwback Thursday episode with three really nice highlights from the Junk Wax Rip. Now, I don't know about you at home, uh, those of you that are a little older who ripped back in this era, but I feel like if I had pulled the kind of cards I pulled today back when I was a kid, I would have been ecstatic. We all know that with the overprinting and the, the size of sets back in the day, it was tough to pull your favorite players. Tough to pull Frank Thomas, Griffey, Don Mattingly, even a guy like Bip Roberts the bipster uh and so this actually turned out to be a lot of fun and considering i'm just grabbing like one random pack at a time uh no rhyme or reason to it i feel like we did super well uh really love this big herd this 3d set was really really fun i wish i had gotten maybe a few more of those packs uh definitely a card i did not have for the donnie baseball collection nice award winner here out of fleer ultra and another griffey card i've never seen before uh the kind of griffey card you want back when he was still with the mariners uh upper deck really high quality cards back in that era uh and so overall i thought a really really good time glad i picked up this junk wax at the national please do leave a comment let me know what you thought of the ripage overall always looking forward to reading your comments slam that like button make sure you're subscribed tell all your friends and i'll see you next time in the broadcast booth